Popping, so I'm so so happy to be here in Osaka. Thank the Lord. I'm glad to be up out of Kyoto. <laughs> I mean, no shade to Kyoto. It was cute for what it was, but child, I'm just happy to be back in a big city environment. And Osaka is definitely a much bigger city. Uh, it looks a lot like Tokyo, honestly, from what I'm seeing. It seems like a miniature uh, Tokyo, which I'm loving. And my room is really cute too. I'm gonna show you guys my room. <laughs> Um, and I'm just so happy that it is a much better room than uh, in Kyoto and even in Tokyo. And oddly enough, a lot of the nicer rooms in Kyoto were crazy expensive. I'm talking $1,500, $2,000 a night expensive. And it's like, okay, this is stupid. A, it's because I'm here at a very popular time. This is like cherry blossom season. So it's already more expensive because of that. But also the rooms in Kyoto are just crazy expensive. I guess because a lot of them are like the traditional style rooms. Anyway, get fuck out of here. I wasn't about to pay that uh, per night for no room in no goddamn Kyoto. So I, that's why I stayed at like a really small basic room. But here I'm able to splurge and it makes sense. Okay. It's making sense. I'm able to pay a good amount, but it's giving, you know, luxury, big city, nice view vibes. So I'm cool with that. But child, I, I just feel like I was claustrophobic in Kyoto. Like small towns just give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thrive in big cities. I am a city girl to the core. Um, I just prefer those environments. And when I am in like a slower, small town area, it just makes me uncomfortable and it depresses me. Okay. So I have to get up out of there and I'm happy to be here in Osaka. We are here. Okay. Um, it is raining outside right now. So I'm probably not going to do much uh, for the rest of the day. Probably just chill out. Go get some food or whatever nearby. But I'm happy to start to my trip here, okay? I got some things I want to do. So, very, very excited. Good morning. This is our official first day here in Osaka. Sorry, I forgot my mic back at the hotel room. I'm going to go back and get it after we eat breakfast. So, we are headed to get some souffle pancakes. I was not too satisfied with the ones in Tokyo at Happy Pancake, so we're gonna see what these are like. So I'm excited to try them. I walked right in, that's what I like. Um, it's so odd too, a lot of these places don't have like sides. I'm used to having like bacon, hash brown. <laughs> or sausage with my pancakes and they don't have that at all. A happy pancake, it wasn't really an option either unless you got a specific type of pancake and they give you some bacon on the side, but it was some weird looking bacon. Um, so I just got the pancakes last time, but yeah. What are some strawberry pancakes? I was considering getting this, but I'm like, this might be a bit too fat. <laughs> These are pancakes with an ice cream cone on top. I'm like, all right, that might be doing a little too much. I don't think I've like really showed y'all their 7-Elevens, but they have like good quality sushi, it looks like, and hella food here. Like, there's so many options. Like, full on meals. <laughs> Rice bowl with hash beef. What? That's hella eggs and meat. They got fried rice. It just keeps going. <laughs> it's like a grocery store. It don't stop. I had some fire food from 7-Eleven also. I had this basil pasta bowl that was really good. I also had this croquette that was fire. So they got some solid, solid food <laughs> at the 7-Elevens here. I know people always talk about the 7-Elevens here and for a good reason. And they're literally everywhere, so they're super convenient if you just wanna grab something real quick, you know? Anyway, I got my mic. As y'all can see, we back in action. 
So we're headed to the shopping area right now. So we're about to get on a train. So let's go. here but it's a lady who keeps talking and I'm like what the fuck is she keep yapping about like what are you talking about lady she just keep talking girl I recognize your fragrance hold up you ain't never gotta say shit mm. and I know your taste this a little bit mm, high maintenance mm. everybody else basic you live yeah, life yeah. <laughs> Child, I don't know what the hell I walked into. <laughs> they want me to wear this damn thing on my head. It's a crab spot that I literally just stumbled across. But of course, they, they gotta be extra in Japan. They want us to wear hats and shit. And as soon as I walked in, they were like, ah! like making loud noises. Yes, thank you. So, child. <laughs> Japanese bull and crab performance arts. <laughs> I cannot. That food was ass. It was so bad. Uh, but that was my fault for picking it. But in my defense, I wanted to go to this other place. This is where I wanted to eat. I wanted to get sushi, but it was closed. Um, so I was like, okay, fine. I'll just eat at this place right here. It was right across from it. So I was like, I'll just go here. But I'm mad because if I would have just kept walking, I would have saw a whole bunch of other <laughs> places that I could have ate at. But whatever, it's fine. That, that was on me. At least I got a good show. <laughs> now, they put on a, a show for us, so at least I got that. Anyway, we're, we're gonna continue shopping over here. Crack up the floor and I swear. Keep me a stick of big purse. So I just left the Umeda area, bought a couple items at one of the malls over there, really cute. And now I am in the America Mura area. I'm sure I'm butchering these names. I'll put them on the screen. <laughs> um, but of course I had to hit up the America area, of course. And the first thing I see is McDonald's. <laughs> So, so I already know I'm in the right place, okay? You gotta represent. While I'm here, I'm team McDonald's, okay? Cause they, they represent us. So I'll be on McDonald's side while I'm here. Um, but yeah, let me see if they do America right. We gonna see. When you're in the mood for empathy, it's blood in my pen. Better yet for your friends and them. I really wanna know you all. I really wanna show you off. Fuck that. Uncle Sam, okay, now y'all playing games. Now y'all trying to play in our face. <laughs> they have a lot of dope like streetwear over here, but it's all men sizes. And I just went in this one store that had some girls working there. And she's like, oh yeah, unisex, unisex. But I'm like, everything is hella oversized. So I don't want to buy hella oversized shit. I mean, sometimes I could do it, but other times, most times the fit gets weird really quickly because my boobs are so big and i got hips and butt so i just can't wear men's clothes easily so yeah this area is not really for me but very cute okay i found one women's store <laughs> 
they were at you. This dressing room is so cute. <laughs> Look at her hair, so cute. Very cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Have a good day. I love you. <laughs> she was funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me get out of here now, okay? I'm, I'm tired of buying men's stuff. I just bought <laughs> another men's shirt. L let me let me just go. This is another Asian dude with black hair that I found in the wild, y'all. From the back, I thought it was a light-skinned dude. <laughs> But he turned to the side and no, he was very Asian. <laughs> and then of course the Asian girl at the store I just left, she had box braids. So I was like, oh, okay, I I'll see y'all, I'll see y'all. Oh, Ooh child, I'm tired, all right? That was a 25 minute walk from that area to my hotel room. I could have rode the train, but I guess the route isn't the most efficient because it would have took 17 minutes if I would have walked to the train station, rode the train, and then walked from that train station to my hotel. So I was just like, I might as well just walk. Anyway, I'm here with, with my goodies, okay? Who Who is she? Who is she buying shit? I don't ever shop on vacation. I have to emphasize this because when I say I don't ever, I don't buy anything. So for me to be doing all this shopping is crazy. Crazy. Okay, y'all, so it is later in the evening and we are on our way to Team Lab Botanical Gardens. It's the same establishment that had the experience I went to in Tokyo, um, but this one is an outdoor nighttime experience. So, it's supposed to be a different vibe or whatever. So, I really enjoyed the one in Tokyo, so we're gonna see how this one is. So, let's go. You got a two-day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. Thirty-day trial before I made my mind and it it's so always yeah. Trials and tribulations. Child, child, child. Kissing in Paris, I guess we could do it in French. Wow. Eating low main is child for now, child, child. She got me wildin' now. Worry your tired, child for now, child, child. restaurant we all have thank you we all have our separate little cubicles <laughs> and uh, we, we took our own food it looks like so let's let's go with it i don't know what the hell i'm doing but sure but she's from nicaragua thought she was persian love are we turning up that place was so fire it was so good. I made two orders actually. <laughs> so I finished the first order and then I ordered it again because I didn't feel like it was a lot of meat or rice. So I was like, um, we're gonna have to run this back. So I ordered it again. I'm gonna have to go back there. And I, I love the setup too. We were in our own little separate cubicles. It was cute. So definitely gotta go back. Damn, I don't know the name of it. It was in Japanese, <laughs> and I have no idea where that was. I don't even know where I'm at right now, to be honest. I'm looking at my Google Maps, trying to figure out how to get back to my hotel room. Because I just wandered there. After I got off the train, I just started walking, and I just ran into it. So, probably can't go back there, because <laughs> I have no idea where that was. Anyway, slightly lost. Let me figure out how to get back to my hotel room and I will holler at y'all later. All right, y'all. So I'm back at the telly. Just got out the shower, got the mask on the face and the bonnet on. Y'all already know the drill. Um, but today has been such an amazing day. I have thoroughly enjoyed my first day here in Osaka. The team lab situation was just okay. I definitely feel like the one in Tokyo is way better. That one is immersive, you know, it's very different and it's just an overall better experience in my opinion. Um, So if you're gonna do one, I definitely think that the one in Tokyo is the obvious choice. 
to do over the one in Osaka. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Still glad that I did it. Um, but yeah, everything else I did today was just so dope. And I looked at my damn app, bruh, look how many steps I took today. 25,000 steps. That is wild. But yes, today has been so dope. I feel like Osaka is like such a mini version of Tokyo. It reminds me of Tokyo so much. It's just a little less chaotic and a little less crowded, but it has so many of the same components. So I love that about it. Um, but yeah, I feel really good. This has been a great day. So yeah, I'm about to wash this off my face and go to sleep and I will check in with y'all tomorrow. When you gonna let me know? I've been kissing you slow. Hi, what's up y'all good afternoon um so it is a little after 12 and we are eating starting the day off right um last night i was so impressed by the meat i woke up wanting some more meat <laughs> last night i had i believe beef skirt is what it's called it was like thinly sliced steak um but now i'm having wagyu so we're gonna see what this is like Okay, y'all, checking back in. I haven't done anything all day except edit and record videos. So this has been like a heavy, heavy work day. Uh, but we're about to head out now and go ride some go-karts around the city. <laughs> Y'all, I'm low key scared. I don't know why. I know how to drive. Oh shit. This is so fun. <laughs> And these go karts can go fast. Worthy. Period. A couple people, niggas trying to get hit out here. I see. Like, bruh, get out the way. Oh, they're going to those male prostitutes again. They working in Osaka too. Oh my god, that was so much fun. I loved it. <laughs> It sucks. I really wish I could have done it in Tokyo. I would have done it in Tokyo and here in Osaka, but Tokyo was sold out. I tried to book it like a couple weeks before, already sold out. So if you want to do it in Tokyo, you're going to have to book like well in advance. And even when I booked this one a couple weeks in advance, it wasn't a lot of spaces left. So this is a very popular activity to do. So you got to be on it. But oh, so much fun. Whenever I come back to Japan, I'm doing it. <laughs> Every time. Hey, what up y'all? Good morning. It was a new day. Yesterday, I didn't do much after I left the go-karting thing. I went to the mall. Um, I walked around for a bit, got some food, and just went back to the hotel. But yeah, we're on a day tour right now. We're going to Hiroshima. Um, so it's an all day tour. So I'm on the bullet train right now. So yeah, we'll see how today goes. Hiroshima Prefecture Industrial Promotion Hall. Okay, so we are here at the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. Very beautiful park. Um, 
has a dark past though so you know that's interesting to learn about uh, apparently over 200,000 people died when America bombed you know this area um, so we've been talking about that um, but this park is really nice very nice park here um, but yeah we're just roaming around and learning about the history it always amazes me when I see people so dedicated to getting hella pictures. And I'm like, I get it. You, you know, visit a new place, you want to get a couple pictures off, but they be getting low and getting these different angles, like doing what I'm doing. And I'm just like, no shade at all, but I just don't really understand the dedication and the, you know, the effort that's put in when you posting it to your Facebook or Instagram. I just don't get it personally, but you know, sure. <laughs> Just, you know, if I didn't do this for work, I would snap a couple pictures and be on my way. But no, they be getting like several pictures, getting low, getting different angles. I'm just like, it's kind of wild. But hey, do you, do you? <laughs> just an observation. That was so sad, so depressing. Just reading everything in there and seeing all of those kids and reading their stories and how their flesh was falling off of them. It was just wild. Like, of course you know the history and you read about it in school, but you don't really know the extent of, of you know, these things that take place. So it was just really eye-opening. Um, but, you know, this whole Memorial Park is really lovely. So it's nice that they were able to um, make something so beautiful out of something so horrible, you know? But yeah, just looking at everything in there, I'm just like, oh my God, and they have such graphic images. So it was, it was wild. It really was wild. Would highly recommend uh, taking a day trip here if you come to Tokyo, um, because this is definitely a different experience, but necessary, I feel, you know? They have so many cherry blossoms over here though. Such a beautiful area. I feel like this is the most cherry blossoms I've seen in one area. Out of Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto. I feel like they have way more cherry blossoms here. So I guess they bloom a lot faster here. Okay, so we just had lunch. Um, we had okonomiyaki. This is my second time having it. It tastes better when I had it in Tokyo. And I had it Hiroshima style in Tokyo as well. They make it like two different kind of ways. But the one in Tokyo had cheese on it. <laughs> this one did not. It just had noodles, cabbage, egg, um, and some other shit. But yeah, the one in Tokyo, I think the cheese put it over the edge. And I just feel like it overall just tastes better. But still interesting to try, would recommend. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying the tour so far. And I have space, like on the bus and even on the bullet train, I didn't have anyone sitting next to me. And that definitely plays a role in me being annoyed with these tours as well, <laughs> is being on the fucking tour bus and having people all in my space and all up on me. And for some reason, I'm always seated next to somebody uh, hefty, um, taking up space and shit and spilling all over me. I just don't like it. So I don't like people all up on me, breathing down my fucking neck. And then when we in a, a single file line, people always stepping on the back of my shoes. Like, <laughs> I'm just irritated by the presence of other people. So 
um that's a big reason why i don't like tours also but this one has been very chill um and people have been giving me my space and i ain't seated next to nobody so i've been liking it so far <laughs> the weather over here is really nice as well not too cold definitely not hot but the sun is out so that's nice well yeah i'm about to continue the tour Jima Island. We're on a ferry right now. Um, so we're going to the main island area. I bought a ferry too in Hong Kong. I didn't record that. Well, I did record it, but the footage was bad <laughs> because it was super foggy, so I didn't put it in the vlog. Um, but yeah, just a typical ferry. So we're about to head over there. It's cold, so I'm indoors right now. Um, but yeah, we're going to head over there and see what this island is like. They have hella deer just chilling in this area. I heard they can get aggressive, so I'm not getting too close to them. Hey. Truck to the plane to the truck. To the we had another shrine. <laughs> Underground garages, presidential suite on the plaza, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the Okay, I'm just walking around this area now, waiting until it's time for us to go. Um. It's a cool area, not a whole bunch to do. They just have a whole bunch of shops here for you to buy stuff, souvenirs and things like that. But yeah, I'm ready to wrap up the day. <laughs> I met up with the tour guide at 7.50. It's now uh, like 3.30, so been a long day. How was up y'all? So it is the next morning. Um, I got back here last night around 8.30 p.m. I met up with my tour guide around 7.50 a.m. So I was out literally all day um, and I definitely could have saved time and just went myself. I keep saying this. <laughs> what will I learn? Um, but yeah, I, I figured because it is so far that I would just, you know, let the tour guide handle everything, but realistically could have just did it myself and I would have been back way sooner but you know it's fine it is what it is um it was still nice to visit hiroshima um and going to the peace museum that museum got me it really did and i usually don't get choked up at museums even when they are sad but this one was just very detailed lots of graphic images and just you know reading the details of what occurred they were talking about how you know there were uh two brothers they were around 12 years old and they were running after the bomb hit and uh you know, one of the boys, his flesh was fucking falling off of him and he was crying and the other brother was just like, stop crying, we gotta go, like, come on. I'm like, what the hell? And they talked about these two friends, you know, there were two little girls who were leaving school and um, one of the little girls, after the bomb hit, one of the little girls, her limbs were falling off and the other friend was like, hey, come on, we have to go. And she's like, I can't go, you, you go, I'm not gonna make it. Like that? I'm about to get choked up again. Get it together. That got me like just, and there were so many stories like that. Like that really like got me like reading the details of that. I was like, this is so fucking sad. Whew, pull it together. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was so sad. Um, So 
that was, you know, a very eye-opening experience, like I said, and I would highly recommend. It just really detailed how horrible these wars are, you know, and how many innocent people lose their lives. And nuclear attacks are so inhumane. Like, what the fuck? Most of the people who died were innocent civilians. And they said up to 220,000 people lost their lives. A lot of children, women, you know, who had nothing to do with the war. So it was just very fucked up. Uh, but anyway, today is a new day. Um, this is actually our last day here in Osaka. Um, so we're going to try to make the best of it. I need to fix my damn lashes. Once again, I've been doing this every day. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to explore uh, the, the city for the last time today. Okay, y'all. So we are headed to a May Cafe right now. The other thing I like about Osaka, they jaywalk here <laughs> without shame. Okay, everybody jaywalks. I did not feel right jaywalking in Kyoto or Tokyo, to be honest. Maybe because the streets were so big, it was like, it wasn't as safe to jaywalk there. But yeah, we're headed to a maid cafe. I hear this is a very bizarre experience. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. Um, maid cafes like appear in some anime and it can get a little strange. I'm not sure how strange this one will be, but we'll see but I, I'm excited to check it out. So this is where we're gonna eat our first meal. I'm not expecting the food to be good, to be honest. Just going for the experience. I just ordered some food and like a milkshake. I can't record the maids though. I'm trying to get quick uh, recorders of them here and there, but you're not supposed to record with them um, unless you pay for it, so. I, I might pay for a picture, but yeah, you're only offered a picture, but you can't really just put a camera all in their face, so there's that, but it's, it's interesting so far. I just saw a live performance, and <laughs> I, I'll, I'll tell y'all more about it when I get out of here. So this is my food that they made. How cute. <laughs> Very cute. interesting experience <laughs> um, that was one of the rules though that you can't really record in there like you can record your food and you can record the environment but they didn't necessarily want you to record the maids so we had to pay to take a picture I did pay <laughs> to take a picture well, I got a package so it included their food um, like a milkshake and a picture so that was like one of the packages that I bought food was ass it was terrible <laughs> which I figured it would be, which is why I scheduled a late lunch. We're gonna go have some Wagyu later, so I'm already prepared. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head to this shopping area right now and shop in the meantime until we get some real food. But yes, yeah, very interesting experience. <laughs> there was this man in there on his knees. Like that was odd, he was like worshiping like one of the girls bowing to her a lot on his damn knees and then when they were performing he was like dancing along <laughs> i was like bro i wish i could show this but yeah they didn't let us record the performances but would recommend if you want to do something odd <laughs> when you're in japan go to a maid cafe I thought about doing a McDonald's uh, mukbang uh, <laughs> because I hate on McDonald's so much. I'm like, that might make a good video for me to try the McDonald's here, but I'm like, I don't want it. <laughs> And like looking at their version, it looked just as nasty to be honest. So I'm like, I really don't want, I really don't want to eat it. 
just for a video, you know? It's not really giving that. I know you fucking lying. Their suitcases are cheaper here than in Tokyo. I'm Okay, I changed my mind. <laughs> Osaka feels just as chaotic as Tokyo, depending on what area you go to. But that's the same with Tokyo. Some areas are more chill there as well. But yes, it's definitely very chaotic over here. Um, Tokyo is just obviously a bigger city but as far as congestion goes and like the lights and traffic and the amount of people in like one area this feels very much like Tokyo so if you don't like Tokyo you're not gonna like Osaka <laughs> We got people performing. We got people taking pictures and costumes and crackheads. For sure, big city energy. For sure. I'm dead at them saying, please don't jump though. <laughs> like, what? Okay, I'm at this small little shop. I feel like I can't leave Japan without trying these little octopus balls that are everywhere. <laughs> so we're gonna see how they are. Usually when I see people have them, they have like mayonnaise over them. That just sounds gross. So I, I got it with just the sauce and like some green uh, garnish, whatever this is. Oh, it's hot. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, so it is a couple hours later and we are on our way to the Wagyu restaurant right now. I am starving. I threw those little octopus balls away. Wasn't feeling them. And they're a very popular food here. They're everywhere. But not for me personally. So after eating that trash food at the Maid Cafe <laughs> and then eating those goddamn octopus balls, I'm just like, bruh, can I, can I get some actual food? Are you going to play games or you going to let me go? Um, so yeah, I'm ready to eat. Finally about to get some, some uh, Wagyu, so I'm excited. Oh, I had some really good Wagyu when I was in Kyoto. I don't know if I mentioned this, but that was fire as well. Um, so, looking forward to eating it again. And I had to change up out of that Sasuke hoodie. That was not Sasuke. <laughs> that Itachi hoodie. <laughs> um, because it was making me hot. So it's like, that's really good quality material that that hoodie is made out of. Um, Cause it's gonna keep you warm. I was like, damn, like it's heavy, which makes sense. Cause I paid $50 for it. At first I was like, did I get gypped? But no, that hoodie is great quality. Um, anyway, I'm about to head to this restaurant, let's go eat. tourist attraction uh, this is a sky observatory um, so you can see all of Osaka I went to the one in Seoul I went to the one in Tokyo uh, but I wanted to come to this one at nighttime because I went to the other two during the day um, and I made sure to come like right before they close <laughs> which is you know a way that you can avoid the crowds if you show up right before an attraction closes or show up 
right when they open. Um, so obviously I want to do it at night, so I have to come right before they close. Uh, but it's nice being here and there's not people breathing down my damn neck, you know? So I can start doing this more often. But yeah, I mean, I've seen enough. <laughs> I think I'm about to head out and go to uh, the main area that I was at earlier um, because I want to see that area at night as well. Last night, I was just walking around Osaka, taking in the night sights. Uh, there were so many people still out really late. There were so many shops still open, so many stores open selling clothes, like food uh, places were open. And I stayed in that main downtown area till like midnight. And yeah, when I left, there were still a lot of people out. Um, so yeah, I just walked around and was taking everything in. Um, because it was my last night um, because I'm about to head out now and this is the end of my Asia tour it is time to go back to LA <laughs> get back um, into the swing of things into my daily routine um, I miss my bed I do can't lie but I've had such an amazing time here in Asia um, of course I'll do a wrap-up and talk more about everything um, and of course go over my time here in Osaka but it's been real I've really really enjoyed Osaka but yeah, about to head to the airport, so let's go. All right, y'all, so I just wanna wrap up this vlog. I had a great time there. I would highly recommend. I would even say I enjoyed it more than Tokyo. Tokyo is a much bigger city, um, so of course it's more crowded. Um, it's more traffic and Osaka definitely had that problem in some areas for sure but because it is a smaller city it was to a much lesser degree so I really enjoyed that it was a very nice balance and I feel like it had a lot of the same components as Tokyo so if I had to pick one city to go to out of Tokyo and Osaka I'm gonna pick Osaka every time you know just just my opinion and I know that people typically say the food in Osaka is like really famous it's really good there I just didn't have that experience but it's very hard to judge a city's food because you're only there for such a limited amount of time and it's completely based on the places that you pick um, so it's a gamble it's a toss-up if you just have bad luck and you're picking all the wrong spots you're gonna think the food is bad if you have good luck and you're picking all the right spots you're gonna have a different opinion and if you're like doing all this research but it's difficult to do that because when you are looking up good places to eat like it's it's in Japanese and it's just not it's not as easy to navigate you know compared to the States of course it's just and you can't even always trust people's opinions and their reviews on stuff. So it, it gets a bit complicated. But anyway, my personal experience with the food in Osaka was just mid. It was me. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. As far as my favorite countries, because I, I did say I would speak on this. So of all the five countries I went to, I would say my favorite um, country was Japan for sure. And of course, I did spend a lot more time in Japan. So again, <laughs> I could be biased because of that. Um, but it was Japan, number one. Number two was Singapore. Loved Singapore. Um, three was China, Hong Kong specifically. Okay, I wanna make that very clear. I really loved Hong Kong. Because I don't know if I said this in the Hong Kong video, but people have compared Hong Kong to China, um, to what Hawaii is to the United States. You know how Hawaii is like a completely different vibe, environment than mainland uh, United States? That's what people have said uh, Hong Kong is to China. So if you go to Beijing or you go to Shanghai, it can be a very different experience. So I just wanna throw that out there. Um, that's what people have said. Um, so three was Hong Kong, four was, um, 
Um, South Korea. Yeah. I already talked about why. I don't need to go over the specifics of that because I, I went over my pros and cons in each vlog. And then the last one will be Sri Lanka. So there's that. That's my, <laughs> my ranking of the five countries that I visited, you know, on my Asian tour. But yeah, Osaka was lit. Amazing time. Highly recommend. If you are going to do the go-kart experience, make sure you book that well in advance. Cause it sells out very quickly you also need an international driver's license so you got to get that before you go just some things to keep in mind if you want to do that particular activity uh, but yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed this vid and i'll see y'all the next time Bye.